Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be pick up and date questions that create attraction. Well, I've got a bunch of, because I get to ask this quite a bit. It's like, what do you talk to women about when you're either on a date or when you're meeting them for the first time? What are some good topics to talk about so you don't seem dull and boring and ask the same, like, where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? You know, those kind of basic questions. And if you read my book, then you know, and plus if you're, you have any experience in sales, that you know one of the most important things to do with somebody to sell them on your product or service is to create rapport with them. And like when I was in the real estate and the mortgage business and also in the construction industry, you're selling yourself, you're selling your company and what you can do for that particular client. And what I always used to teach my salespeople to do is not to sit down and go into a sales pitch as soon as the client comes into your office, but as a matter of fact, kind of leave all that stuff off to the side and you should spend at least the first 10 to 15 minutes when a client comes in just talking to them, asking, just getting to know them, asking them the kind of questions that maybe an old friend or somebody that knows them would ask them like, hey, how you been? Tell me about your kids. Like if you're, especially if you're sitting down at an appointment, you can look around the room, you can see the guy's diploma on the wall. You start asking him about the college, what he majored in, what the school was like. And what it does, it, it creates rapport with another human being, men and women, if, just by asking questions, personal questions about them, because we all love to talk about ourselves. We all love to brag about ourselves. And we always like it when another human being takes a sincere, authentic interest in us. And so you can use those sales techniques to also create rapport with women. And the beautiful thing about asking questions is whoever the person, who's ever asking the questions, in essence, is leading the conversation. And as a man, if you're trying to create attraction, you want to be the leader. You want to lead the conversation. You want to lead the interaction to where you ultimately want it to go. Well, before I get into these, I got a quote that I'd like to share with you. It says, most people don't really have that much exciting stuff going on in their lives. When people go out, they are usually looking to escape from their boring lives. The best way to create rapport and attraction with members of the opposite sex is to talk about positive and uplifting topics that elicit good feelings. This will cause them to see you as unique, fun, different, and exciting to be around. If they're smiling, feeling good, and laughing with you, it will create sexual attraction. So let's go through these. So the idea is like when you ask a woman a question, instead of trying to come up with things to talk about, if you can ask them an interesting question, an interesting topic, the kind of things that they're not used to getting asked by the average guy, it sets you apart. It causes you to be different and it has a, creates a, a really great vibe to create rapport. And so... The idea is like if you start talking about a topic, it gives you something that both you can talk about and maybe you can share a particular story or something that you have experience with. And so the first one, I'm going to get, I probably got about 20 of them. So I'm going to post these also in the article on my website so you can see them, but let's, we'll go, go through them one by one. Another a great question you can ask is, what are you passionate about? Just think about it. What are you passionate about? And you ask that to a woman that you meet, that's going to elicit a positive, good feeling. Or, what do you love in life? Here's another one. What is the craziest thing you've ever done? What is the most exciting place you've ever had sex in public? What do you like to do for fun? Here, here's one I like. Do you remember your first day of school? What was it like? I know I remember my, my first day of school. I can remember it like it was yesterday, but it was, fuck, God, it was like almost... 35, 36 years ago, I remember I was very shy and the school that I was supposed to go to was a little overcrowded and so we in our actual kindergarten classroom was in the bottom of a fire station. And so, I mean, this is like my first time away from my parents. I remember I had these plaid, they were like red and, and turquoise, they were like red and navy blue pla plaid pants. I remember that, and my kindergarten teacher, she was overweight, and she had this big wart on her nose, and it had all these black hairs growing out of it, and I was, like, terrified of, of this woman, and the bathroom was outside in the hallway, and I had to pee, like, really bad, but I was so afraid of my teacher that I just held it, 
And I remember there was a, uh, there was like this square blue table and it had sand in it. It was kind of like a little sandbox on, uh, with, with legs on it. And it had like toys and stuff. And so you could, you could play with that. And I remember I was like, I just got to the point where I couldn't hold it anymore. And so I'm walking around, I'm fucking peeing my pants. You know, I've got dark pants. So it didn't really like show like a giant wet spot. But obviously you could you could smell it. And I remember one one of the girls that I was in class with, she was like, Ew, you peed your pants. I was like, No, I didn't. And I remember walking around in the room and just seeing like the drops of urine just like fall out the bottom of my pant. Like I was so embarrassed. I went when I got home I told my mother about it. She's like, Why didn't you ask? And you know, she's like, Why didn't you ask your teacher if you could go to the bathroom? And so she gave me this lecture and and helped build my confidence in what I should do. And obviously the you know, the next time I was there I had to pee. I actually went and, and asked permission and then went to the bathroom outside but it was it was like one of those funny kind of embarrassing kind of stories and so here's here's another one what do you love but are afraid to admit that you love it a lot of women would say like i'm a chocoholic i love chocolate what's unique and exciting about you what are your guilty pleasures what do your friends love most about you what makes life exciting to you? What's your biggest dream? What are you most proud of? What is the funniest thing that ever happened to you? What is the most fun you've ever had? How do you know when a guy is right for you? What specifically makes him stand out for the rest? And what's cool about asking this question is that it can lead into another question of like, have you ever fallen in love with somebody as soon as you looked in their eyes? And when you ask specific questions about this topic, you can figure out the woman will actually describe what her attraction strategy is. In other words, it, like for, it's just a dip, it's a look, a smile, and you, you can actually get the woman to describe, well, this guy kind of looked at me, looked at me a certain way. I was like, okay, well, what was his, what was his posture in relation to you? Well, he was kind of turned sideways and his head was kind of tilted. And as she's describing this, you can be putting yourself into that position physically to duplicate specifically exactly what she liked about this guy. Maybe he had a look or a smirk that he gave and you can say, was it kind of like this? And you could do it. You go like, yeah, that's it. I mean, think about that. You get her to tell you her attraction strategy and then you duplicate it right there on the spot. And if you're, you get in the same, you get her to literally describe this, she'll associate, she'll start, you'll start to trigger that feeling within her because we all have like a certain look. There's a certain thing that we like when we see a girl and we're just like, we know that she's got it, whatever it happens to be. It's different for all of us. And that's a great topic that you can have a lot of fun with because what it does, it causes you to match and mirror the posture of somebody that really had a strong effect on her emotions in a positive way. And you can duplicate that yourself by asking specific questions around that topic. Another question you can ask is, what do your friends admire most about you? And here's the one I was saying earlier. Have you ever fallen in love just by looking into someone's eyes? And if she says yes, ask her specifically what made them stand out from the rest. Their smile, their clothes, their body language, how they looked at you, their tone of voice. What was their hook that made them irresistible to you? And ask, when you ask these questions, it gives you a lot of great intel on stuff that you can actually use and duplicate right then and there on the spot. What makes you really happy? What cracks you up more than anything? What is the silliest thing you've ever done? What is your favorite memory? What is the funniest movie you've ever seen? Another one could be, what, have you seen any good funny movies lately? Have you ever been very mischievous and done things like put Mr. Bubble in a large water fountain and then came back later to see the bubbles everywhere? We, I had a bunch of buddies of mine. We did this when we were in our 20s. There was this, this was when we lived in, when I was growing up living in Fort Lauderdale. And there was a, a big fountain that was on the corner. And so it, you know, it shot water in the air. And so it, there was a lot of splashing. And so we went to the store and we bought like four or five bottles of Mr. Bubble and we put it in like a large Ziploc bag. And then we like pulled up on the street, and it was, I don't know, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. We'd all been partying and having a good time. We were just fucking around. So one of my buddies got out, ran up, opened the Ziploc bag, and dumped all this stuff in. And then, then we came back like an hour later, and the suds were like all bubbling out of the fountain. And then he literally bubbled all the way out into the road. And even the next day, we went by there, 
the bubbles were all over the grass. And it was hilarious. There was a dude cleaning out the fountain. Obviously, he probably didn't think it was very funny, but we thought it was hilarious. Have you ever, <laughs> here's, here's one. Have you ever farted and then blamed it on someone else successfully, like an older relative? I don't know if you've ever had any relatives, like when they're kind of starting to lose it and they'll ask you something and about two minutes later, they ask you the same exact question. You can have fun because it's like they, they never really remember. I know it's kind of shitty, but hey, it's like their family. It's like, come on. What's the most fun you've ever had on a date? What's the one thing you can't say no to? And here's here's one I like. What are you really good at that would surprise me? You know, girls will say, you know what? Well, I can take a cherry and I can twist the stem of the cherry and I can make a knot in it in my mouth with my tongue. Like, really? Well, show me. Get a cherry from the, the bartender and watch her do it. Or then you all can do it together. It's just fun. It's playful. And the last one that I want to share with you is if you could wake up tomorrow and be any place in the world, where would it be and why? So these are, those are some great questions that you can ask that are different, that are unique from your typical, hey, where'd you grow up? Where'd you go to school? Which he's probably answered a thousand times and is probably tired of answering. So that should give you some ammunition. And like I said, I'm going to post all of these different questions on the actual article that's on my website that obviously matches the title of this video. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me or you got a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video newsletter or you'd like to get my help personally, go to my website, click the products tab which will be at the top of your screen and book a paid phone coaching session with yours truly. And I will talk to you soon.